Welcome back everybody to the channel. On today's episode, we're here at the shop and I'm gonna show you guys how we pre-blend everything to speed the process up of refilling our tube two and our in furrow while I'm planting. Tommy comes back here to the shop. He's able to blend a load by himself real quick and be able to get back to me real quick. But I'm gonna show you the process that we do to speed things up because that's the biggest drag to this in furrow in tuba two is time. It takes time to do all this and kind of slows you down. But I found ways through the years to speed myself up and uh, not get that drag. But what I've done is I've cleaned four totes. And then I can take a, take a Sharpie and I mark the number increments on it to where I can visually see them on every tote. And what that allows me is I got two totes for in furrow, two totes for two by two. I can blend up two loads per each. And uh, I, can spawn, I can pour all my small stuff in, like zinc, boron, copper, whatever, you know. And then all I'm left to, to get is my, my 1034-0 and my 32% nitrogen. And uh, we try to have everything set up, ready, so it just speeds it up, and it, and it really speeds it up. I'm, uh, I found that this really works right well. But uh, we're gonna continue getting things ready here. And the weather's nice and gorgeous, 80 something degrees today. Well, we had a minor mishap here in the shop. Uh, we clipped the corner of a tote of micronutrients and we had a big spillage. But we didn't lose much, maybe maybe 50 gallons all we lost. So it wasn't as bad as I thought it was, but it was an accident. I mean, I've seven, eight years of fooling this crap, that's the first time I've ever clipped a tote and knocked a hole in it, but uh, nobody's perfect. It happens, and then we're going to showcase it. I mean, it's made a mess. I mean, but I mean, don't worry. It's just, it's just micronutrients. Nothing to hurt the soil. It's all good stuff. But we're going to get it cleaned up. Get some of this stuff stacked in here so we can get to it a little easier, and so it don't happen again. All right, guys. I'm going to kind of show y'all how we uh, blend everything to try to speed things up. We pre-blend everything here at the shop. Show you kind of how we do it. We got two totes here. Uh, this is gonna be our in furrow product. And we're gonna mix up two batches of in furrow at the same time so that we can speed ourselves up. But uh, kind of show y'all what we do here. First thing we gotta do is put 30 gallons of Micro 500 in it. Get the iPad out here. Go back to my notes. You got your knife, bud? Yeah, just a pair of mold off. Right on that 30 mark. You can put just a little bit more in there, yeah. Bolt open and all. Put 
the stuff that's gonna stay in suspension in here. We'll stir it up, you know what I mean? Okay. And what we're doing is we're put, only putting stuff in here that's gonna kind of stay in suspension and I've got a mixer that'll go on the top of this tote and mix it for me. It's got a timer on it. It'll sit there and mix uh, and get it mixed up. Well, we just got nutrient pulled up. We're going to unload some chemicals. We're going to get these on. We're going to get these unloaded, and uh, then we'll get back to our mixing. Going. Just sitting around waiting. Hunt a dry spot. Well, are we supposed to get a big rain tomorrow. Yep. yep. So by we, the time it gets dry, it does that. Well, we're kind of in a holding pattern. I don't like planting in front of a big old beating rain. It just. What's it do? Well, it just beats it in the ground, turns it to concrete. And then that you can't get that, in. You can't get a stand. That ain't good either. So I just. Uh, well, farming is one more complicated thing to me. It's just the educated guess, 24-7. Number two. Okay guys, I'm gonna bring y'all back with us now. We've got our in furrows blended up and this is just an easy way that we do it to where we can speed the process up because this this liquid fertilizer it it will slow you down and this is the easiest way we found to speed ourselves up we got two totes these are two batches of infer 
we've got all of our products in here i've wrote on top of the tote what of each one what goes in each 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 tote and all we've got to do now is just add our levitate to this and put this tote in and we're good to go that's 600 gallon fill up 480 gallons of levitate and 100, 120 gallons of our other mixture and that's 600 gallon so that's the easiest way i know how to put it and and, and speed things up of course we got accomplished max in there i mean we've got zinc we've got iron we've got copper we've got just all the micros that you could possibly want uh or need and uh totally 100 percent of agrison products uh yeah that's that's pretty much it i mean now we're gonna flip over we're gonna set our two two by two totes up here and we're gonna blend us two loads of two by two so we can speed that process up when i get that set up i'll bring y'all back with us all right guys show y'all our finished setup as you see we got four totes here we got them clearly labeled two by two two by two in furrow and in furrow and what this does it speeds us up when we get ready to go to the field we've got everything blended but all we, we got to add to the in furrow is the levitate and all we had to add to the two by two is the 10340 and the 32 percent and then that our our stuff will be blended up ready to go this we found that this just speeds us up uh when we're in the field so i don't have to come in and blend a load when i run out we've already got it blended all they had to do is bring it to me but uh yeah it's been a long day we've got them all blended up uh I'd like to thank y'all for watching uh please like subscribe to the channel watch us throughout the year and thanks for watching the crop critic